Hello my friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to transform images like this normal looking images into interesting looking images like this inside of Photoshop, right? From beginning to end, these are simple clicks and steps that you as a beginner will be able to follow through to achieve this. If you've not subscribed to my channel, this is the first thing you need to do. Subscribe and turn on the post notification. Without having to say much, let's get right into this. So the first thing you need to do is go and take the image. The link to get this image is in the resource file. Many things are happening inside the description of this video, right? So do well to get yours also, right? So I'm just going to bring this in um, side of Photoshop. And um, the first thing I want to do is um, select subject. I'll click on select subject like this and photoshop does the work for you now click on this tool here and click on select and mask all right now when you click on select and mask it brings you to another page entirely that's now the first thing you want to make sure of make sure that this image is the view is set to overlay now the opacity set it to 100 now you can see the areas that have been removed are the areas in red right so you, this image is good to go so the next thing you need to do is click on refine hair now photoshop is going to refine the hair for you the ones that are not selected would be selected right so this is a perfect image right now the next thing you need to do is scroll down and um, to where it says output yeah somewhere around here so here what you need to basically do is click on new layer now if you have a complicated image that has um, colors inside of the hair still you can click on the contaminate color and push it to 100 and click on new layer and set out like this now because this my image is like an easy image i don't have to use that so i'm just going to control z this click on select and mask again and i'm not going to click on the contaminate color i'm just going to go ahead and click on um inside of output i'm just going to click on new layer and click ok like this okay i hope you understand that now the next thing you need to do is or before we move over to the next thing some persons have asked me um, some questions and um, here it is okay so you can also support the growth of the channel by actually buying a cup of coffee so this is how you can actually do it if my video has been impactful to you and you just want to say thank you this is easiest way to do it so while watching any of my video you can just come here and click on this thanks and this is going to pop out right so now what you have here is a slider so it's showing naira because um i'm in nigeria currently right so if you move this slider upward this is as high as hundred thousand naira. so if you want to give me a hundred thousand naira, please feel free to do that 400 naira, one thousand two thousand naira. so you can use this when you're setting of, of the amount you want click on buy and send now it will bring you to this page all you simply need to do is just impute your card and that's all any card actually works right impute your card here you can see i have my card here already so all you just need to do at this point is just click on the buy and basically that's all so this is one of the ways you can use to support my channel right so if i've been helpful if my videos have been impactful this is the way you can actually give back to the channel right thank you very much. okay so let's proceed from here okay so um now we have the image removed from background click on adjustment layer this one here this one here and it opens up this dialog box click on hue and saturation right so hue and saturation is selected now the main reason why we remove the image from background it's just so that we do our um adjustment it doesn't affect the original image or the background just applies to only the image so click create a clipping mask on the image and um increase the saturation so this is before and after it's not that visible so let's add some more to it this is too much somewhere around here it's good right so you can see that we've added a little bit of saturation to this image but this is just the beginning of better things to come right so the next thing you need to do is um go over to adjustment layer again and this time click on hue and saturation now 
create clipping mask make sure you are clipping into the image that you move background form click on colorize and um, i'm going to increase the saturation up onto um let's say 78 it's good now you might be wondering what's going on here now pay attention i'm going to change the blend mode to screen and uh, well, most times you can use overlay but i feel overlay is um too much most times so i just tend to put this to 100 to give me a natural looking so i'm going to what i'm basically doing here is i'm working on the lipstick and um, i'm working on also the eye region right so um what you want to do is inverted i inverted the mask right so i'm going to use my brush and um, make sure your foreground color set to white and um, paint in what you just created with the hue and saturation just gently so that it's just on the lips area now if you look at this um, this seems unrealistic i know some persons have their lipsticks like this but we're not going to go down that route right so um click on blending options and when this opens up hold down your alt key and drag this slider to the right like this now how subtle you want it depends on how far you drag the slider because i want mine this way that's why i have to drag my slider all the way to that part right or you can change the color also here by clicking on this hue and to any color of your choice depending on um the shade of the lipstick you um you are wearing it might be your picture it might be for your client i'm just going to make mine like this if it's too much you can also reduce it here right but for me i'm just going to leave mine like this and um, I'm good to go. So I'm also going to add to these areas too. I'm just going to add to these areas. I'm also going to add to these areas too. So if you don't know how to do this, you can go get an image of um, a lady that has a lipstick or makeup and you can just learn from it, right? So I'm going to leave mine like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the adjustment layer. I'm going to select curves this time. The same thing, right click and um, create clicking mask like this. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this slider up to this point here. Right, right click. And um, I'm just going to select blending option. Now inside of the blending option, when it pops up, I'm just going to go to blend if and this time I'm not going to break. I'm just going to keep dragging it to the right hand side. And when I get something like this, um, I think this is good. This is the amount of shine I need. I'm just going to hold down the alt key and break this apart like this to create a nice shine effect. Now, this is what you see most times on um, um, pictures. Um, studio pictures that have been corrected and all of that worked on this is how this is one of the secrets right so click ok like this and i have a nice image of the model but it doesn't stop there i'm going to invert this and i'm only going to have that shine on areas where i need it i'm going to start with the lips start with the eyes and um, of course the tip of the nose and the hair also for the contour and everything right so I'm going to have this. So you can have many shine. You can do another one that has to do with the hair and those region you want to have popped in the image. Yeah. So that's basically what where you should apply shine. Don't go and start applying shine to where it's not needed. Right? So I'm just going to have this and uh, of course in the areas here. And you can add more. So I mean add more. You can make it more intense by dragging the slider to your left right so I'm just going to settle for this and this is good enough for me this is good enough for me okay so um, you can make yours even better than mine please feel free to do that spend your time you can pause this video and do yours that's how you actually learn so now to make um, it more realistic um go over to your rectangle uh you can use any shape you can use circles but i choose to use rectangle here so directly on top of this image is where you should have your rectangle 
right so it's going to fall behind so you can see why we actually remove the image from the background right so i'm going to make duplicate copies of this rectangle i'm going to use white I'm using white so um duplicate this also again like this and the last one make a duplicate copy of this here again so you have four images so i'm going to hold down shift um four images um hold down shift select the four of them and click on convert to smart object now everything has been converted to the smart object click on blending mode and change it to screen go over to filter and go to blur and um, add gaussian blur to it and i'm going to get a good radius for my image i think this radius is fine right so what you want to do to make it more realistic is reduce the opacity let me drop the radius um i think i don't have to drop the radius actually so i'm going to use this radius and i'm going to reduce the opacity like this of course you have a nice and um, i don't know what you actually call this but this is actually nice or um it makes it look as if it was taken in a studio or something it just makes it more realistic right instead of that normal boring picture that we have right so um with this i'm going to create another adjustment layer but then it's going to be color lookup now inside of color lookup you need to pay attention here i'm going to select crisp warm look right and because it's too much i'm going to reduce your opacity like this until i get something like this right now this color look up this is before and this is after right so i'm going to just going to use this you can see how modern and how realistic this is right so now with this what i want to do with this is for the color look up you have so many options right just make sure you are reducing from your opacity and um, of course most times you can play with the blending mode but i'm just going to leave mine to normal and um, i can choose to change this from the warm look to this look you can see how nice this is nice and beautiful right so but then i'm just going to settle with this i'm going to use this All right so you can use the other one for yourself so this is before and this is after you can see that it's a huge shift from where we were so i'm just trying to control the saturation here like this right so um i think i'm going to add a little bit to it I think making it 12 won't spoil anything. I'm just going to leave it this way. And um, for this, I'm going to increase the lightness of the lipstick and of course the, the makeup thing thingy that I have in the eye. Right? So for here, I'm just going to add another adjustment layer, but this time I'm going to work with color balance. Now inside of color balance, I'm just going to, for the mid-tones, I'm going to tilt towards the red and um, for my shadows to make any shadow more realistic add blues to it and for the highlights since we're working on human portraits i'm going to add some yellows to it so if you're working on anything that has to do with human skin you work with red and yellow right so i'm just going to have this this way and um, voila we're good to go So um, let me reduce the blues from the shadows. Okay, this is nice. This is this is nice. This is perfect. This is exactly the way I want mine to be. So you can experiment with yours and um, see what works for you, right? So I'm going to duplicate this and um, change the blend mode to overlay here. You can see that we have it on our skin now, right? But I'm going to reduce it so it's not too much. So the bottom line is that we have a realistic image here so you can see before and after it's not that visible so let's add a little bit to it like this and yes it's visible this way so before and after wow amazing so um good now that you have your image you have your image sets it's a big shift from before i'm um, sorry okay hold down the alt key this is the before and this is the after 
you can see just simple few clicks and we have arrived at this right so now to make it more interesting let's go to the part p now you want to save this image right so you've done everything you want to save this image so this is the image go to file and go to export and go to export as right now the first thing you want to make sure you do here is make sure you are exporting with great quality right and um, yeah save it anywhere on your screen now the link to this website to animate that picture is in the description of this video so you don't want to miss the description of this video now come to this website click on upload image right now when you click on upload image it takes you to where you have you can select where you have the image on your maybe you saved on your desktop so i'm going to navigate to where i have mine this is mine here and i'm going to click on open now you'll see your image immediately here so what you should do now is the first thing you need to do is change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 and of course you can use any duration of your choice i choose to use eight seconds right so under here i'm just going to describe what i want it to do to that my to this my image so i'm just going to say make her blink or smile seductively it can be blink it can be smile just try anyone then i'm just going to correct this sorry about this and um what you want to do after this is just click on run and give it time to process this image most times it takes um approximately um one minute to do all of this so it doesn't take time so you can see my image is ready i'm just going to large view and click on play now this is what i'm getting but yes could be better right but for my image because of the prompt this is what i'm getting so you can do yours um with a different prompt entirely and get a different output so right when you're done you can just click on download and um, download the image right not necessarily you use this prompt that i use all right guys this is how i was able to create this amazing effect and this animation effect at the end like this if you've not subscribed subscribe and don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you miss any video i'm dropping in time for now ciao